everybody, Jacob with Scooters Lawn Care here, and today we're talking about mowing in wet conditions. This is an issue in our Florida location and our Illinois location, so I wanted to make a video that addresses this for both locations. Mowing when wet is an unfortunate consequence of the industry we're in. There are a lot of times where we're maintaining a lot of different properties and we have to stay on schedule. And what ends up happening in these situations when we get a lot of rain is it forces us into mowing when it is really, really wet sometimes. I want to really address how we handle that situation. We tell our team members that there's an issue if we try to let it dry and there's an issue if we do it when it's wet. And we want you to use your best judgment. Can you get out there? Can you mow the property? One, I don't want you to mow the property if we're going to completely destroy and damage a property. But a lot of times the worst consequence of mowing when it's wet, especially when we're really behind, that's when I'm asking for as much grace from you guys as possible when it's obvious that it's rained a lot and we're just trying to get through the work to keep your lawn looking good. The biggest consequence a lot of times is just some dirt tracks or some mud tracks in the lawn. And they'll look unsightly when we first do it. And then when we get the next rain, when it's raining a lot that usually comes, usually that's just a wash right off thing and it's not a problem. So this is something that if we can get in a lawn and if that's all it's going to do, we want to get it mowed. Because the other problem is if we try to wait till it's dry, if we're in this situation where it's rained Monday and Tuesday and we haven't been able to mow, or if even if it's rained a day and it gets pushed back and then we're still fearful of more rain, because both areas, in spring in Illinois, in summer here, you get into this situation where you just rain on top of rain on top of rain and you're not sure when you're going to get it cut. And if it piles up that way, the other flip side consequence is it might go a week past and then your grass will be so tall that you'll also strain and hurt the lawn then. So you might have some mud tracks in it that wash off with the rain or you can have grass that gets a foot tall and then when we cut it and cut it back down to height, it's impossible to not have clumps in it. It has more thatch than it should. It strains the lawn because you should never cut more than a third of the blade of grass anyway and now we're cutting off a half or more and it, that strain causes yellowing in the lawn which then these issues just pile on. Yellowing in the lawn, which leads to thinning of the lawn, which leads to fungus potential. Anytime you make something susceptible, just like us as a human, if you make us, if we're weak or tired or whatever, we're most, more susceptible to getting sick. Your lawn is more susceptible to its version of sick, which is fungus, which is weeds blowing out in it when it gets thin, all these other problems. So, our goal is to mow no matter what, unless you're extremely, extremely touchy about that. But I want to forewarn you that there are issues on the other side if we have to push it off a week or multiple days over a week. And what we do though, is if we do get on a lawn and we damage it. In Illinois, we can seed that. We can touch that up once things dry up. In Florida, where you can't really seed, all you can really do is sod. We can always patch in sod. And if the area is small, we can see it. And it might even just be a couple plugs to kind of fill that in. So this is how we handle mowing when it's wet. And the best way to convey this was in a message in a video for me to talk to you and really tell you why the, the blade is sharp on both sides and both cut you. The, the, the mud is bad and the, the grass that gets hammered and gets too much of it cut off is bad. They all cause issues. They all potentially cause damage. What is the lesser of the two evils? Because one of them, both sides, is an issue. Both of them are evil, evil problem that we don't like. And we're just trying to pick what works best to serve you best. I hope this has cleared some things up. Always reach out to the office. We'd love to answer any issues on how we can stand behind this. If you do see any damage that our teams haven't noticed, um, please bring that up to us. We would love to make sure that gets taken care of for you. We appreciate you as a client and I look forward to talking to you soon.